in this section we'll try to understand once the proteins are in endoplasmic reticulum how do proteins get to their right final destination so how does a protein know if it belongs to golgi or it needs to be secreted out or it needs to go to lysosomes or it needs to stay in er so the transport within the endomembrane system is through vesicles so these are the vesicles that travel from er to golgi and then vesicles bud off of golgi and then fuse with plasma membrane and these vesicles carry proteins or lipids with them so just to give you an example like any ion channel located at plasma membrane or a specific example will be sodium potassium pump and if we are talking about secretion insulin and other hormones peptide hormones are examples that are secreted out in lysosomes we have multiple enzymes or proton pumps that belong in lysosomes and there are multiple enzymes that belong to er like enzymes that transfer oligosaccharide to a protein that enzyme belongs to er and this transport happens through vesicles couple of terms to keep in mind when you are going in forward direction means from er to golgi or to lysosomes or from golgi to plasma membrane forward transfer is known as enterograde when proteins are traveling backwards it means you can take example of endocytosis or going from golgi back to er this transport is called retrograde means backward transport so how proteins know where to go there are different mechanisms for that if the protein needs to stay in er when after cytosol it has a tag called rxr r here is for arginine if a protein needs it's to go to golgi for specific glycosylation and then get to er it means if you go from er to golgi but you have to come back to er the tag here is h d e l or k d e l or k k x x if a protein has this tag then the proteins will go back these are called retrieval tags if a protein needs to go to lysosomes protein has to have a mannose 6 phosphate tag and let's learn about that so here you will see here is protein is in er and here is a vesicle budding off which is carrying a lysosomal enzyme so when it gets to the golgi mannose is phosphorylated at position 6 so that's why it's called mannose 6 phosphate then it binds to a receptor at the membrane and that's how it goes to the golgi you will see here it travels and here is vesicle carrying the protein it fuses and here it's in the late endosome the ph is dropping so this phosphate is removed and you have the enzyme within the lysosome 
So if you look in the detail, here is your lysosomal protein carrying two N-acetylglucosamine and some mannose. So here you will see a phosphate is added and this is carrying mannose 6-phosphate. This is a tag for lysosomal enzymes. So how does a vesicle know where to go? So all vesicles, so here you will see, they are coated. So coated means they are coated with specific proteins and those proteins are called coating proteins. So we will look here. So here is red, stands for COP2. So if you are going in forward direction means from ER to Golgi, then proteins will be coated, vesicles will be coated with COP2 proteins. If you're going in backward direction, it means from Golgi to ER, vesicles will be coated with COP1 proteins. But if you are going from Golgi to endosomes or from plasma membrane to endosomes, vesicles will be coated with clathrin. There is another protein recently discovered, caviolin, which has not been confirmed yet. So here it's a question mark. If proteins are going back from plasma membrane to ER, then vesicles are coated with caviolin. So there are two pieces of information, specific tags and specific coating proteins help protein to get to its final destination. And that's uh, all about overall or overview of how proteins get to their final destination within the endomembrane uh, system.